much. Our team coverage continues with Jerry Carnes. Jerry, you have loved UGA for as long as you can remember and I can remember. Walk us through that feeling when the clock finally hit zero. I I is it like too good to be true? As I'm throwing things around, I'm too excited good to be for true. you. <laughs> <laughs> Too good to be true, Cheryl. A long, long wait for this, but very much worth the wait. This is very, very sweet. You know, they say to be the best, you got to beat the best. And Georgia fans have been watching for years and years as Georgia neared the top of the mountain, but couldn't break through because Alabama was blocking their path. Well, this time around, Georgia knocked Alabama out of the way, made it to the top, and that's what makes this so satisfying. <laughs> no more talk of 1980. No more talk of the long championship drought. The wait is over. Georgia is back on top. I'm 30 years old and I've waited for this my whole life. I'm more excited than you could ever imagine. <laughs> the streets of Indianapolis are barking and celebrating. Go dog! Many here were not alive the last time Georgia won it all. No more 1980, 2021 champs. Here we go. Go dogs. We <laughs> and then there's Billy Copeland. He was 10 years old when he saw Georgia win their last national championship 41 years ago. He was here in Indianapolis to see it happen again. I think I'm in shock, actually. I mean, a lot of tears were shed there with the pick six. A lot of tears started flowing. UGA senior Lily Gerald was in tears as the clock ticked down toward victory. For Georgia fans, it means that much. I have been a Georgia fan since I was little. It's always been my dream to go to Georgia and to be here when they're winning a national championship is really a dream come true. Sitting near her is Ralph Richardson. He was also there 41 years ago to see the dogs win it all. This time, he saw it happen with his grandsons. Two national championships with Georgia Bulldogs in my lifetime. It just don't get no better, man. It don't get no better, dude. This is what happens when you wait 41 years. For some, a lifetime. And a national championship, Georgia fan, go dogs. No more talk of 1980. No more waiting. It was a long, steep hill to climb, but Georgia has reached the top of the college football mountain, and the streets of Indianapolis are barking with joy. Yeah, instead of talk of 1980, uh, last night the talk among Georgia Bulldog fans was, can Kirby Smart be the next Nick Saban? Can Georgia build a dynasty like what we've seen at Alabama? But let's not get ahead of ourselves coming up at 630. We will delve a little bit more into why this is so satisfying, why beating Alabama is so satisfying. Yeah, a little sweeter beating Bama. Watching Kirby Smart run up and down the sideline, that it was so much fun. You felt like you were right there with them all. Thank you so much, Jerry. It's been so much just fun to see your coverage there.